Hello, and thanks for tuning in to Get in the Game. My name is Mark, I am the man with the speaky chair, and I am here playing Morrowind. Um, but, okay, you'll notice that I'm in a completely different area, that I've totally traveled far and beyond the reaches of what you guys saw the last time you tuned in. Well, I had a minor computer error. And thus for forcing me to, uh... <laughs> Uh, I had to delete a whole bunch of corrupted files, which happened to be most of the videos that I recorded um, the leading up to this point. Um, so, uh, I apologize for any lapse in views, or uh, not views, but lapse in videos that uh, leading major gap points. I apologize. Um... One of these days, I'm going to have to upgrade to something that, you know, beyond this Commodore 64 that I'm playing on. So, really, I, it's, 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 it's what has to happen. Um, uh, I want to say uh, congratulations to my two wonderful winners, uh, Bob the Necromancers and, um, and Justin, and I'm not going to pronounce your last name, man. <laughs> I'm going to slaughter it again. And, and, and you know what, the, the man, the man listens to, uh, actually, we're all part of a little, uh, little group there, uh, of, uh, people who listen to a certain, like, uh, podcast, from podcasts from a certain, uh, oh, from a certain network. So, actually, I had no idea he was a part of that group, and I was like, going, oh, wow, Frog Prancer won, rock on, I'm all happy about that. Like, I love giving back to the community, and I love giving back to my viewers. And, uh, oh, thank you so much for uh, jo hopping on and joining in, those of you who just uh, subscribed the other day. Uh, I noticed I went from 31 to 32 viewers, or actually from 30 viewers to 32 viewers in a very short amount of time. And, oh, thank you so much for, uh, for joining in, watching. I hope you're entertained. Like I said, this is pretty much just a... Uh, Hey, uh, I'm sorry that you're gonna miss some gaps and some stuff, especially if like you were trying to like keep track of like Xeno Clash and uh, Block Story. Eh, I'm pretty much done with all the storyline stuff there, but uh, now it's just messing around. Um, or Trap Dead. I know I recorded a whole bunch of Trap Dead videos that I wanted to post and I didn't get a chance to. Well, anyway, so now I'm here in the great city of Mornhold in Morrowind, and uh, I, I am um, clearing the way so that I can investigate the sewers. Now, there's a goblin down here at the bottom of the thing. Gonna cause me all types of problems. <laughs> Restore health. Hey there, restore my health. Yeah, that's right. I blocked it. Shit. Oh yeah. Oh, dead goblin. My favorite kind of goblin. Goblin sword. Wow, that thing's deadly. Well, I'll dispose of the corpse. What's down here? Niven. 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 Alright. And I will be all... Uh, I'm not that sneaky, huh? I want to be that sneaky. Someone's detecting me. I don't know how. Uh, this should be... Another Gobblewind. Right over here. Come here, come here, Gobblewind. Ha! 
Hark! There's a note. The common tongue. Uh, this broadsheet is a newsletter copied on a cheap paper featuring uh, sensational events of the city of Mornhold. One article describes a list of individuals who died under suspicious circumstances when their interests conflicted with those of the former Prince of the West. References clearly King Hagar, the, the preference is clearly King Hagar, the King of Marhol, formerly Prince of Hachit of the King of the Wayrest Province, Tyrant, blah blah blah. Super stealthy. I killed a goblin. Yo, Mr. Goblin. All right. Two down, one to go. Advance my sneak at all, really? <sighs> I'll dispose of the corpse. Suppose of corpse. Suppose of the corpse. There's lots of goblins down here. Stealthy marksman type. That way I could just assassinate a people. A people? Wow. <laughs> what do you mean by a people? <laughs> Here I am, super stealthy marksman type, gonna assassinate some people. And waste an arrow, because I got one drawn, and I didn't need to have one drawn. But wait, there's a crate! Oh, an amulet. That's gotta be worth something, right? And then there's this empty crate. Goblin. 
Oh, and I so need to change these key bindings. Stretching one finger way far out to sneak, and then one to move forward. Okay, so I cleared out that little room. And we got them. And now there's men over there talking. All this to save a wizard. I'm so tempted. I'll tell you what. This is, this is why we have things like this. Save. I win. Okay. Yes, I'm right. Welcome to my world. Where we do things my way. Wow, what do I want? Full time. I let the boss do all the talking. Talk to the boss. What was that? What's this about? Okay. Obviously, I'll have to bribe him. And obviously, bribing him is not not working out. All right. Well, I'm going to get back to trying to save this poor guy. Which, believe it or not, um, there's a guy in the street corner who wants me to save this guy, and here he is. And these guys are way better armed than I am, so, uh, and that's all I'm going to do today. Thank you so much for tuning in again. My name is Mark. I am the man with the squeak chair, and I will see you again next time. Squeak chair, out.